in a previous video, we had a look at the general binomial expansion where the first number in the bracket was 1. So what we're going to do, we're going to extend this idea now to brackets where the first number isn't 1. So let's say we're asked to expand um, 2 plus x to the power of 3 over 2. And say we're finding the first four terms. So just reminding ourselves of the formula. There it is there. But again, notice that the formula only works when the first number is 1. Well, there's an easy way of sorting this out. If we take a factor of 2 out of the bracket, so 2 bracket, that makes that there 1 plus 1 half x to the 3 over 2. But I can't just take a factor of 2 out of a bracket power 3 over 2. It has to bring the power with it. So that becomes 2 to the 3 over 2 at the front. So actually now, this expression here is exactly equivalent to that one there. So now, we do have a bracket that contains a 1. So now we can expand it. So it's 2 to the power of 3 over 2 times. And now we can just use this formula that has a 1 at the front. So this bracket here, now expanded, becomes 1 plus n times x term plus n n minus 1 x term squared over 2 factorial plus n n minus 1 n minus 2 x term cubed over 3 factorial and so on equals and at every stage remember to write the th uh, 2 to the power of 3 over 2 forgetting to write that factor at the front is the most common mistake made so equals 2 to the power of 3 over 2 times 1 plus 3 quarters x no need for the calculator yet and by this point there is a need for the calculator so count the minus signs of which there are none in this case so we know that the whole thing must be positive so plus, and then just type the numbers in the calculator. And it's much easier to do them as decimals in this case. So 1.5 times 0 0.5 times 0 0.5 squared divided by 2 factorial equals 3 over 32 x squared plus count the minus signs of which there are one so there's one minus sign so that makes that rather than being a plus makes it a minus so typing those numbers in we get 1.5 times 0 0.5 times and there it says minus one half but we've already got that it's a minus from counting the minus sign so we don't need to bother typing that minus in i just think getting out the way um, whether it's going to be plus or minus at the start and not typing in the minuses when we're doing the calculation leaves us less prone to errors. So times 0 0.5 times 0 0.5 cubed divided by 3 factorial is equal to 1 over 128. So take 1 over 128 x cubed and so on. And then, just to expand this bracket now, so 2 to the 3 over 2. Well, the denominator of 2 in the power means square root and cubed. So the square root of 2 cubed, root 8, which is 2 root 2. You can check that on the calculator if you like. So root of 2 cubed is 2 root 2, yeah. So 2 root 2. So we're multiplying that. So 2 root 2 times 1 is 2 root 2. Let's be safe. Let's just do in the calculator. 
So 2 root 2 times 3 quarters equals 3 root 2 over 2. So plus 3 root 2 over 2 x plus so 3 over 32 times 2 root 2 is 3 root 2 over 16 x squared take let's turn that into 1 over 128 root 2 over 64 x cubed and so on so that's the general binomial expansion so if I would ask you for what values is this expansion valid well if we look at our rearranged form here we know when it's in this form here it's the modulus of the x term being less than 1 so it's valid when the modulus of the x term is less than 1 or when the modulus of a half times the modulus of x is less than 1 so the modulus of a half is just a half times both sides by 2 which means that it's valid when the modulus of x is less than 2. But actually, we could do it a lot quicker by looking at the original expression. So the alternative method I gave you in the other video is just solving the bracket being equal to 0. So solving 2 plus x being equal to 0. 2 plus x equals 0, which means that x equals minus 2. And this works every time. Just put a modulus around the x, less than sign, and turn the right-hand side positive. So we get exactly the same answer by doing it that way. So solve the bracket equal to 0. Put a modulus sign around the x, and whatever this is, turn it positive. And that gives exactly the same answer every time. So we'll probably should have a look at an exam question now to put this into a practical context. So this question here asks us to expand 1 plus x squared over the square root of 1 plus 4x up to and including the x cubed term what you've got to notice here that this is rather than being a quotient we can rewrite this as the product of two functions so we can rewrite this as 1 plus x squared and rather than dividing it by root of 1 uh, plus 4, uh, root of 1 plus 4x we multiply it 1 plus 4x to the minus 1 half so we write it like that so the first thing that we're going to do is separate out this bit. We're going to expand 1 plus 4x to the minus 1 half. So 1 plus 4x to the minus 1 half equals, and then we're just going to use the formula. So 1 plus n x term plus n n minus 1 x term squared over 2 factorial plus n n minus 1 n minus 2 x term cubed over 3 factorial which is then equal to 1 then count the minus signs. Well, there's one minus sign there, so the whole thing becomes a minus, and a half times four is two. Count the minus signs again. We'll see there's one, two minus signs there, which make a plus. And I'm going to start using the safety net of the calculator here. I don't want to get my arithmetic wrong. So a half, which is 0.5, times 1.5, times four squared, divided by two factorial, and again, the reason why I'm not typing the minus signs in there, I've counted them up. I already know that it's going to be positive, so there's no point in typing them in the calculator. That was just that would just be one more place to go wrong. So that one's six. So plus six x squared. Let's count the minus signs up. I've got one, 
to three of them. So three makes a minus. So 0 0.5 times 1.5 times 2.5 times four cubed divided by three factorial equals 20. So take 20 x cubed and then I mustn't forget I've got to times that now by 1 plus x squared so 1 plus x squared times what I've just expanded 1 minus 2x plus 6x squared minus 20x cubed and so on let's not forget the and so on up there so now let's just start expanding it. So times everything by one first. So we'll get one minus two x plus six x squared minus 20 x cubed. And now let's times everything by x squared. So I get plus x squared, take two x cubed, and now when I start multiplying these together, I get powers higher than x cubed, but it only wanted it up to and including the term x cubed. So really, I'm done now. Equals. So 1 minus 2x and 6x squared plus 1x squared is 7x squared. And minus 20x cubed minus 2x cubed is minus 22 x cubed. So the next part asks us to state the set of values for which the expansion is valid. So what we want to do, we want to look at this here. So we want the x, the modulus of the x term to be less than 1, but in my opinion there's a better way of doing it. As I said before, just solve this bracket equaling 0. So part 2, 1 plus 4x equals 0, which means that 4x equals minus 1, which means that x equals minus 1 quarter. Therefore, and again, just put a modulus sign around the x, less than sign, and turn the number positive. So modulus of x is less than a quarter, and that's pretty much all there is to the binomial expansion. So if you want more practice, have a go at the questions on my website. For more videos like this, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And to find out more about our Skype tuition and revision courses, go to alevelmathsrevision.com.